Pac-Man 25. Um, I'm gonna do 100% and uh, there's two difficulties, bad and okay. Uh, don't worry about that, we do okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna count down from three and uh, we're gonna start this run. So we're gonna go in three, yep. two, one, go. Thank you. <laughs> first off, we start right here and we grab our first item. Because I can wall jump. Because well, because Samus can wall jump, so we get super journey. And that's is really useful. And suddenly you have different music, and now changes again back to something else. Weird. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> I I am actually not really fond of zero mission uh, physics. I just hate it. There's some physics change though. Um, uh, on jumping, your speed is like faster. Um, also, I can grab this because I got those supers early. Normally, you have to go up, uh, which I don't have to do. Uh, it's kind of like Super Metroids, or like, like how it is with Torin here. So I can shoot earlier here, the, the shot, but I'm just going to wait and be safe. If I miss this super, um, it's really bad because I need to get missiles and then go back and then go back again, which is not something I want at all. Um, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, we just, it's not, it's not really a long hack or anything. Oh, come on, please. Pretty sure it's, it's like 100% so like, I'm probably going to get like a 25 minutes or 24 minute run. At least that's what I get most of the time. So here is more ball. I actually need to turn on bombs because I got more ball uh, before uh, bombs. Or I, okay, I got bombs before more ball. Jeez. <laughs> uh, so because uh, I got bombs early with those supers, I can take this shortcut, which saves a bunch of time. Also, the music is different too. What else? What else? What else? There's not really that much to say about this right now. So here's beam missiles. This is basically just charge beam. Oh, uh, Alex man who, who made this is in chat right now. Ah. Here's our first missiles, which technically isn't my first missile pack you should get, but uh, because we basically got those supers already, we didn't grab the missiles you're supposed to grab at all. So, grab more missiles. Uh, come on, physics, please. <laughs> so, this is the elevator where you're supposed to go down from. Uh, but we didn't because I took a shortcut. Uh, wow. Stupid googly eyes. <laughs> Get them away. Also, missile doors take um, three missiles instead of one. There's lava here. I don't know why. You should ask Alex Man about this. <laughs> Random lava. Ugh, this enemy is my way. Get lost. Okay, nice. I got lo I got uh, good luck with the Ripper position. It, it, the Ripper can actually like literally go just inside that hole or go outside it. And yeah, you get hit and it takes longer. But I got lucky there. I need to lay that power bomb high enough so this door opens. Okay, good. I just want a power bomb. I need a power bomb. That's literally what I need right now. Another thing I hate is when you want to morph when you press up. You need to really fully press up or else it just doesn't like a morph. It's really dumb. All right, grab some extra missiles. They're definitely useful. Here 
we gonna go to uh, North and grab more items? <laughs> go. <on. laughs> this is what I hate. I oh, I hate going off ledges. You're literally like one pixel still on the on the ledge. Super annoying. It's one of those annoying things. And then, like I'm used to Super Metroid, where if you just walk, you actually stop later through instantly. It's uh, it's really dumb. This is why I wanted an extra power bomb. Okay, well, missed that one enemy because it was going, it was, the enemy is going up and down and yeah, it just literally was going up when I shot that shot, when I shot that missile. Fortunate though. Wall jump, please. Wall jump, please. <laughs> so yeah. Go, more power bombs. And uh, now we got ice beam. Now we can do a little hit run. Uh, yeah, it's not too long, not too bad at all. And the moments I want to jump in there, I, I want to, I want a, a little bit of a. Okay, that's bad luck. I want a little bit of a running start because if I just stand still and jump, my jump is less high. If I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a run, uh, my jump is higher. So I don't have to latch grab at that point. Saves a little bit of time. Here we go, wave beam. <clears throat> oh, literally the last ripper. Hopefully I can freeze this enemy right here. Yeah, okay, of course I freeze it in front of me. It's uh, kind of unfortunate. I don't know why I used the missile there. <laughs> don't know. So there will be two points. I'm actually going to take a recharge. Uh, like two points and he recharged. First one is pretty close. Uh, coming up pretty soon. It's for it's for a boss. I want to have full supers for the boss so I can kill it pretty fast. If I actually miss something, if I miss a super at that point, uh, the boss is gonna take a little bit longer. Go another E tank. We got we get plenty of E tanks for uh, this run. I'm gonna shoot two missiles instantly here, so I hit those two enemies instantly. Like I, it, you always hit them. Save rooms. I'm not gonna use that because there's not necessary to use save rooms at all. Like there's no point, like no point in in the run at all that I need to use a re recharge. So for this part, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna place a power bomb so that block gets destroyed earlier. Saves so just a little bit of time because I'm taking a recharge here anyway. Nice camera. Why? Wait. Okay, nice first try. Sometimes when I roll over this part, I just actually roll over the trigger instead of getting the recharge. It has happened that I rolled over it three times in a row, which is pretty dumb. Ah, I was trying to shoot, didn't want to work. Also, this is just wall. It's now a door. That's not a power bomb. It's uh, just acids. So there's, uh, I'm gonna go back, not through that way, but I'm gonna go back where I came up. There's this one space part. I need him to see me. Or not. This gate open. Okay, never <laughs> Uh Come on, Kodam. No, here. Come down, see? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it's supposed to see me. This gate will open. If it sees me, it uh, opens that gate. I got a little bit unlucky with um, one not being there. And that's this boss. This is why I want full supers. Now the other three supers I will be using for the boss coming up next. I, okay, wrong, wrong side. 
hate these platforms. So he's great. I can kill him for free supers. And it's dead. Okay, bye. Now it's dead. That's great. That's why I want to take the recharge. One super for that uh, for that uh, warm thing. I don't know what's called. And then three supers for the for Kray to kill it instantly. I don't have to deal with that at all. Uh, so for this part, this, this is a like a nest. I hope get some good luck with super drops. Nope. Where are my super? Where are my super drops? Please, <laughs> game. Um. Uh, wow. Okay, that was just just terrible. I basically just need to hope for some really good super drops. If I get super drop, if I get two uh, two super drops instantly, I can kill that nest really fast. But yeah, I just got super unlucky with drops. Uh, now I guess people sir, my running speed is instantly already higher. It's like the speed of when you actually get uh, speed booster speeds or something. So I'm already going pretty fast right now. Yeah, I can already unlock it. That's one of the big RNG points in this run. Fortunately, I got some really, really, really bad luck. Now we get very suit. You should play this. It's a good. It's a really good hack. Even though Alex Man says it's not a good hack, it's it, it is a good hack. Again, I'm going to lay a power bomb here and then destroy the block. So I destroyed that just a tiny bit faster than uh, normally. Nice power bomb drop. <laughs> Next game. Okay, that, whoa, whoa. <laughs> trying to go super fast there. I okay, if I have enough speed, I can phase through this thing, but... I thought I opened the door earlier, uh, like uh, a little bit faster, so. But I didn't have enough speed. If you have enough speed, you actually just face right through it. Wow, okay, jump over it. I barely had enough, to, <laughs> barely had enough missiles to open a door. But I sometimes need to pay attention to my missiles, which I don't. Ah, ice! I hate this. <laughs> I already hate the spark mechanic in Zero Mission. It's stupid. I just cannot wrap my head around it and still able to do it at all. I have done enough runs of this that I still actually don't know how it works. But also, it's getting dark. Don't worry. It is supposed to be dark. There's a su there's a superhero right here. Like there's literally a superhero right here too. So I don't have to worry about it. There's a super right there and a super door. So now we get this this Charlie fight or something or Chozo Guardian or whatever they actually call it. I actually also run uh the uh, three other hacks. Can you stop? Can you stop doing the lightning? I actually also speedrun, um, what is it called? And what is that hack called? I, I also run Spooky Mission. Well, I quote unquote run it. Um, I also run, uh, well, I run a uh, Spooky Mission 100%. I speedrun, uh, SR 387 and I speed like speed run this and I speed run freeze flame 100% obviously I speed run 100% of them because it's way more fun and it's uh, way safer obviously I don't want to merit on unsafe <laughs> uh, wrong button <laughs> oh my god I almost <laughs> I was messed up uh, press the wrong button I have a little bit of brain fart there. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Well, I, I speed run four hacks in total. As a 387 is uh, is that like a contest hack? Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of annoying because you don't have high, high jump in that one, and you can only uh, 
You can only grab ledges. You, it's why I don't really do it for marathons, because it's kind of boring seeing someone uh, doing ledge grab after ledge grab. <laughs> it's really boring. Freeze Flame is actually pretty cool, though. That one's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty cool uh, read on. Oh, I barely have enough ammo. Okay. I barely have enough ammo for this part. <laughs> Jeez. I'm really tight on ammo at the moment. Wow. I'm really, really tight on ammo. Well, now we got Space Jump. Space jump is actually pretty good. Uh, you can just mash it to jump. Also, this hole. Yeah, I have no idea how you're supposed to see that. Also, I am morph there because if you fall from too high with morph ball, you get a you get a you get a bounce, but the bounce is extremely just maybe a little bit too much of a bounce. Like you bounce pretty high up again. Uh, it's yeah. Don't really like it. So don't mind that uh, space part coming out out of the wall. It 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 doesn't care about walls there. Was well, there's like a failed cork in my experience and got this spark? Yes. Am I quickly? Yes. Okay, I got that. That was pretty cool. Getting that is uh is is pretty. It's kind of difficult. You need to be uh good with timing there. That's the spot I am more of cause of the bounce. It's really annoying. No one likes the bouncy ball. <laughs> well, cause it's kind of annoying. So you can just break up. What's wait, what? Which one? Okay. There's the bounce. It's super high. <laughs> ah. The bounce is just way too high. One sequence a bit easier. I don't even know what sequence that is. No fish, stop. Damn you, fish. Uh, nope. Okay, that was good. Also, it goes from water to no water. Yes, makes sense. I cannot destroy this with uh, screw attack, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why. I just cannot destroy it with uh, screw attack. I have to shoot it. Oh, a raid. It's pretty cool. No, I fall and landed into the hand. I need this recharge for uh, for Ridley coming up. I need my supers for that fight. Raid of eighteen. Welcome, raiders. Again, from no water to water. Makes complete sense. So I'm gonna turn around here and shoot this door open, cause if I don't, I have to actually hope for a super drop from Ridley. And there has been times that I didn't got a super drop at all from him. So I don't want that to happen at all. I just don't want that to happen or else I have to take the recharge in the next room. It's really dumb. I just want to give a quick shout out to SRA for the raid of 18 people. Thank you for the raid, Speedrun Arena. Okay, Ridley's dead. So actually the whole point of this hack is just destroy Ridley and get out. That's literally it. Just You just have to destroy Ridley. Now I can actually just leave the planet if I want to, but there's still more, still more items that I need to collect before I actually leave. Um. Yeah, there's supposed to be a message there, but I, for some reason, it doesn't appear at all. So these enemies are annoying. Get out of my way, <laughs> please. Jesus. Also, oh, this is wall here. There's supposed to. Uh, there was a gate there too. I already uh, opened the gate. Again, I'm trying to press up to unmorph, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Super annoying. Also, there's a in, there's a uh, invisible solid block there 
I don't know why. It's just, just an invisible solid block. Or a solid air block, however you want to call it. Weird. Also, I cannot screw attack these fishes. It's kind of annoying. Go. Yeah, it's it's dark in, in a couple of these rooms. And this next one is pretty dark, too. You can, you can barely see the flashing of uh, Samus. Thanks. Thanks, Trigger. I... That was dumb. So I opened the gate. So now there are some Metroids in a couple of rooms uh, that are basically like escapes or something. So I'm going up here because there's a mm, super missile pack right here that was guarded. That was like closed off by a gate. But um, I opened the gate so now I can grab it. Go. Oh, there's a metro. You'll see one later on. It's uh, it's uh, it looks a little bit different than your usual uh, fangs enemies being in an unfortunate spot. Okay, still worked. <laughs> if the enemy is like that, I can jump through it. But if it's sideways, I am not able to uh, jump through it. Oh, so uh, in this next room, in this room right here is where you're supposed to get your first missile pack, which I'm getting now. So we basically go back up the way we get went down. Ah, I hate this part. Again, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> and there's this one space bar there. Just let him live. I just keep keep him alive. Just why? Why not? We're like, we're like three, four minutes away from ending being at the end of the run. Of course, this is 100%, which means we have to sit for the credits at the end. Can I get this? Yes, got it. Nice. Got it. There we go. I'm literally the only runner of this hack. Same goes for the other uh, two uh, other two hacks that I run. No one else runs it. No one else runs these hacks at all. There's the Metroid. Yeah, the Metroid looks a little bit bloody in this one. Yeah, that one, the last one, took a little bit longer to get up, unfortunately. So we're going in. This is Torin, but it doesn't really have the things Torin supposed to have. Fortunately, it do it's not really... It doesn't have butter brain. The only thing I'm getting here is four more items. That's literally why I'm going here. Four more items that I need to collect. Go. Uh, there's only like two rooms with Metroids. There we go. Now those are all the Metroids. 98% yes 98% is like basically a meme when I started running this it 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 actually has 98% of items in the game because he forgot to uh he he had a tile that was misplaced or something kind of weird okay got the jump first try <laughs> Getting in jump there is hard. If you fall down, you fall on that other, uh, you fall down on that other, uh, crumble block and you can actually just not get the jump. I got a first try though. So that's, uh, it's actually perfect. So we got all the items. Uh, we can leave the planet and then sit through the credits for, uh, item percentage validation. There we go. Time is coming up pretty soon, though. Like uh, within like 10 seconds from now. Or less. And time. There we go. And now we sit through the credits. Yay. Credits.
credits, yay. The most... The most boring part of the run. <laughs> I think 24, I've is what I see here. Yeah, it's yeah, it's what I predicted. 24, 25 uh, minute run. I've done this run for quite a uh, quite some marathons too. Uh, the same like with uh, I did with Ascent for a lot of marathons. Cause it's a oh, great yeah. hack, even though Alex Man doesn't say it. Even Alex Man says it's not a good hack. It's it it is. <laughs> it is a good one. Well, I'm going to take this chance while you're going through the credits here, and I'm going to shout out uh, for who we're raising money for. So we are currently raising money for To Write Love on Her Arms. They're a nonprofit movement dedicated to presenting hope and finding help for people struggling with depression, addiction, self-injury, and suicide. They exist to encourage, inform, inspire, and also invest directly into the treatment and recovery of those people. This year is more important than ever to reach out and try to help people with mental health. Many people are, many people have lost their jobs, currently in isolation and hiding away from the world because of COVID-19. They cannot get out. They cannot see their families. They cannot see their families and friends because they risk catching and spreading the virus. All proceeds donated this weekend, as well as until the end of the event today slash tomorrow, depending on where you are. Um, We'll be going directly to right love on our arms. We don't touch the money at all. Thanks to Tiltify, the money goes directly to them. Again, thank you so much, Lincoln Meister. Um, we will be uh, flipping over to the setup and we will be back shortly uh, with Typo Dato.